Hello there, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Vogmod. We are uh, at war with Japan. Wonderful, friendly, <sighs> minor power. Never going to really rise and grow Japan. Because we're going to take like half their country. Just, just eat it all. Nom 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 nom. And this is probably where the battle is going to happen. Yep. We have a decisive... Look at these stat differences. Huge morale difference. Huge tactic difference. Our units are better. Yep, it was a slaughter. But, you know, that hammer gun. Oh, Catholic Zealots are in control of the country. I'm going to leave the Zealots alone as much as I can. There's no, I see no reason to get rid of them when they're basically helping me in their own way by making the nation convert to Catholicism. Oh, look at that. 38,000. Good numbers. Good. Wholesome numbers. Let's go that way. Go that way. Hmm. Mm. Oh, they're sieging. Well, I do need to go after that part eventually. Well, let's let's take a little peek for a moment. What do I want? That, 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 uh, that, 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 that. Is that enough? You know what? That's enough for now. Oh, no, 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 no. Om nom 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 nom. There we go. We've got British Japan. We just ate half of it. It was delicious. Just scrumptiously umptious. Mmm, yum yum yum. Spend money. You know what? Kind of a waste at this point. Because there's no way they'll make me enough cash to pay it back in time. But you know what? I'm okay with that. We're just going to work to finish absorbing... Uh, Eastern Siberia, British East Siberia, British East Japan, British North Philippines, British China, British Australia. Oh, if I do go to War with Holland, I could own all of Australia. Something to, to remember for later. However, <clears throat> however, mm, we've got peace with you till August. Ah, there we are. We're no longer at the max, or no longer taking any penalties, so... <clears throat> the gold standard. The ongoing trade deficit between Europe and China has caused a shortage of silver bullion in Europe and all over the world. From silver coinage to gold coinage, will now new coinage enter circulation. Get trade flowing in ever greater amounts. Plus 50 settlers. We'll get those last provinces. A little more trade efficiency. More trade range. We're going to take the field howitzer. <clears throat> Originally developed for siege purposes, the howitzer fired a high-angled projectile fortification into the town side. The field howitzer, a lighter, more mobile variant, would fire an explosive shell above enemy troops. With our artillery types, it added to the effectiveness of artillery brigades. And finally, the four field rotation. My Secretary of State assures me that the switch to clover as a fodder crop and the addition of turnip to the four field rotation will keep yields in agriculture. I am inclined to promote this idea. And if he lied to me, I will stab him in the eye. Hello, little Crete army. I'm going to get rid of you. And you. There we are. Good. Yes. Yes. Oh. You still at war? Yeah, you are, Corsica. Of course you can. Of course you can. Alright, so. 
Oops, declaring war on the Ottomans. Oh wait, I gotta wait, don't I? Because yeah, Commonwealth has a truth truce with them. Yeah, that's a thousand. And they're fighting another war, aren't they? That's a that's a big penalty. And you're super in debt. No, oh, well. What allies do they even have? Georgia, Tripoli, Milandi, and Ardalan. I... Oh, there's Ardalan. That's fine. Russia will help me. Russia's got a big, big, giant army. Perfect for these sorts of things. Uh, military mothball my forts for now. August, eh? June. Eh, just a couple months. Ah, Europe. You're a weird, weird beast. I mean... I, I've never seen the Commonwealth or the AI Papal State do so well. I have a feeling my absorption of certain lands has uh, impacted that, like um, destabilizing Austria as I did. Mm. Uh, oh, also, I'm going to... So I just got that bonus of 20. I don't need colonial expansion anymore. I really don't. But I do want to. I do want to finish absorbing this. All of that, mine, 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 mine. There we go. And there we are. It is time for the war. Hi, Ottomans. Imperialist war with you. I'll take Russia into my. To aid me, and we'll go to war. Blang! There we are. Mm -hmm. uh, oops. Ah, well, it's fine, actually. Mm. Or... Would it be just easier to... You know what? I think this will be even easier. Uh, I'll wait, actually. Let them do their thing. Ooh, Commonwealth Revolutionaries. How oh, revolutionary. Mm -hmm. yeah, I have a feeling the Ottomans won't be able to do much. They are... They're solidly being ravaged by a revolutionary army. Where's their capital even? Dumyat? Is that what you've, you've put your capital into? Oh. I thought I went to the 1830s. Well then. Well, I guess it could if I so decided. But uh, that's that's the game. Um, yeah. We're going we're gonna to pause the screen for a moment. Let's size things up. We were... I th who? Who? I don't believe that we had the second largest army. I am unconvinced about that. But apparently we do have the second largest army. First navy, most provinces, highest province value, highest income, highest trade income. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got here. The successful English conquest of Aramak. Uh, it lasted for two years. Let's just talk about how the Gascon fought the French in the Battle of Toulouse. Uh, by the Gascon Earl of Ar Arachi, he suffered some losses fighting the 51,609 men strong French army led by Louis XI uh, de Valois. We suffered some losses. In the reign of Henry VI, we moved our capital to London. We saw the courts of Vermandois and Champagne lost. I'm pretty sure I just gave them away rather than lose them. Oh well. 
Dauphin and Pikugami lost? I don't think we lost those. If anything, they were probably just territories that were given to provinces. It's not the same thing. However, her reign had oh, the, the long British conquest of Japan. Ah, oh, yes. Oh. Russian forces. Hmm. Well, armies were most victorious. That's the size of battle. 40,000 men led by Russian Fyodor Iketra. Also, the 50,000 strong men of the key army. He lost most of the army. Trade company in Jamatland. Trade company in Vesta Bagdon. Yeah, did many trade companies. All right, well, hmm. so we had all the techs, we had all the ideas, we had lots of provinces, not perfect religious unity, 54% overextension because of Japan. All right, well, we're going to continue. Like, we're not actually going to continue, I'm afraid, but uh, we're going to, I want to see this. Yeah, whoever said that we had the some, uh, the second largest army is a fat, ugly liar. Fat and ugly and a liar. Just putting out of that out there. Let's see, what do they got here? 12,000, 31,000, 200 and... No, sorry, 31,000. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, aha! That's how it does it. The Commonwealth has over 113,000 soldiers as mercenaries right now. For some insane reason. As such, their army is technically larger than mine. Technically. That is an insane number of mercenaries. It really is. All right, well, 1821, January 3rd. This is, this is the world. Spain, not, it, the, Spain is on a decline. Uh, they've not declined as much mm. as they had in the real world. Russia, big, not the biggest, but still big. Shouldn't Korea, Korea is a powerful regional power. Um, having extended them themselves north into the peninsula in areas that would otherwise be Russia or China. Uh, Japan is never going to rise up. We've, we've gutted their potential. In a few short years, we would conquer them. More unity here than expected. Well, I don't have to. Do I'm afraid we will not have British India. It's very sad. And I didn't get, I didn't get my goal of, of building another strait. Which reminds me. What did we get built? It did! Look! We did it! We built the Panama Canal, everyone! Oh! That... Well, I didn't, didn't tell us. I don't know. But we built the Panama Canal. Um, some of the central U.S. And Mexico. Barren wastelands! Barely inhabited by anyone. Iceland. A nice little independent nation. Kinda, kinda united. <sighs> the Livonian Order still exists. A surprisingly strong papal state. Um, yeah, the Holy Roman Empire huh, has 12 princes, 2 electors. Yeah. They're officially Catholic, and... Uh, yeah, they, they were never going to get anywhere. They never finished a single one of the reforms. Oh, that's sad. Just, just sad. Revoke the privileges. Yeah, it's kind of fun when you get to... Uh, when you get to try to um, vassalize and do all of this, it's quite quite neat, actually. Mm. Commonwealth did really well this game. Pomerania lasting well into the game. Holland recovering. 
I remember at one point they were just this piece of land here. Just these two pieces of land. They then expanded east into the Holy Roman Empire. And into my heart. Portugal! Yeah, Portugal really kind of expanded themselves into, into that region. Mm, yeah, the rest, no real huge surprises. Again, no real surprises. Mm. Alright, well, thank you to everybody who joined us on this glorious journey. I mean, yeah, England, England did well. I've, I have no complaints about the power of the English throne right now. Anna, our glorious Empress Anna of Lancaster. 69 years of age, her heir, who's going to lead into things, also a glorious man. And Holland, sharing a throne with the Lancaster family. Anyways, that's that's the end of that. So, um, probably going to do ooh, Crusader Kings 2 next. They had that new expansion, that should be fun. But we'll see. Everybody, have a good night.